Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Well guys, today I've decided to make a really really quick tutorial about how to write a simple UI application for Mac using the Swift UI. It's the latest and greatest from Apple and just automating it a really really simple scenario to automate it because many tutorials typically explain something really complex that needs like i don't know 20 minutes 30 minutes one hour two hours to uh, understand and this one's gonna be just really short so first of all you just need to create a simple project for your mac and you're gonna specify the swift ui language and this application will be compiled for mac because today specifically we're gonna talk about uh, mac once you get there you just need to create a simple view so by default you're gonna be shown the hello world kind of text here but we're gonna just modify it a little bit first of all we're gonna modify the vstack vstack is basically vertical stack whatever you see all the elements on the uh, interface are gonna be either vstack uh, or h stack like horizontal stack or there's also a z stack so basically everything is in stacks so there's a stacks and inside those stacks you basically combine the views everything is a view there so the first view there is an image so we're gonna use the system image which is called house the system image is just like built in in your Mac. You don't need to do anything. You just specify it like this and it's gonna work. Then we specify the padding. Then we specify the image scale. And then we specify the foreground color. The next element here is spacer. Basically, once you specify the spacer, it's gonna push your content to the top. And then we're gonna specify other stuff. The button, which is a simple button which says tap here. Once you press this button, it's gonna show a pop-up. Pop-ups just says basically test message. <laughs> That's it. So this is how it goes. Nothing really complex here. Just a simple, simple UI. There's no even like a real code uh, code there. The only thing you need to know is this one. This is a state. So state is basically a new concept in Swift UI that allows you basically consider all elements state, for example, is gonna be either present or disabled. Either present or not, that's it, right? So we just specified the variable called show alert. By default, it's gonna be false. This is, this is how we specify it. And then once we actually tap the button and the code to tap the button, it's going to be here, right there in those brackets. And we're gonna trigger the show alert to be true. So once we trigger this one to be true, we change the state and it means it's gonna be enabled. So, and that's how we specify it right here. So this is the alert code. Alert code says is presented and then notice this dollar sign here which is just gonna do show alert and it's basically gonna switch it and uh, this way is gonna appear right right in front of you that's it so let's see how it actually looks like we're gonna press command.r to execute the code and let's see this is guys how it works so basically there's the code and just press tap here and it's gonna show the message that's it really really simple now let's talk about tests because when you created the project you specify the test target there you, you specify that you want to include the tests and that's how basically when you go to this file swift test automation ui test or whatever how is your project name so let's talk about this test function that i implemented right here it's really simple so i what i did is just basically specify that xcui application which is basically our test example right here is going to launch this application by using this function app.launch basically this uh, variable then we're gonna basically interact with this app variable and do stuff right there, right there. so first of all we're gonna say buttons and button one if we go back to content view you're gonna see that I made accessibility label button one if you remove this accessibility label you're gonna access it through the name and the name of this button is gonna be tap here so basically not really convenient because if you change this text it's not gonna be possible to reuse it you will need to change it uh, one more time here that's why we just use the accessibility label button one and here in the next example where it says hello world in this example i'm actually using the name of the field so basically if i change something in the content view it's going to be changed and i need to update my test and now the alert right so basically when alert appears we just press the ok button there and we just terminate the app and again in this static text hello world we just verify that it. it's equal to hello world we just make sure that this text is actually called hello world and that's it how to run our test how to run this simple test it's really simple so we press command that u and it's gonna execute it so let's see how it goes application is running okay so it, it actually does all that for me <laughs> so it clicks all those buttons and it says automation running let's stop our test and as you can see guys it worked fine so basically it actually went through and it clicked all those buttons so test passed and this check mark means test passed but guys there's one more thing instead of writing this code right here we can always record and see how it goes we can just comment it out 
using the command and slash. And then, of course, we can just press this record button. What it's gonna do is gonna basically execute the app and we're gonna press hello world. I'm gonna click on this value and we're gonna say tap here. It's gonna say okay. As you can see, it actually showed the code. Let's stop this one. It actually showed that code, but the problem that I'm having right now is if you press command.u, this is not gonna actually execute this code. It was just having some problems, I believe. It was running into some issues when I executed last time. Okay, it says automation running. Yeah, as you can see, it's not tapping the button. Something is off. And I believe, and I believe what's happening here is it because this hello world. And I believe this is because of that line right here. So let's comment this out and let's try it again. Command that you and let's see how it goes. So guys, as you can see, it still doesn't work. So I don't know why, but this is the problem here. <laughs> Those automatic kind of scripts recording, it doesn't always work. Sometimes it fails. That's why you're gonna rely probably on those labels. It's the best way to basically grab those labels and use in your code. But you need to write this code for yourself. You're not gonna use the whatever the Xcode provides you, believe me. All right, guys, this is it. It's a really simple tutorial. I hope it was useful. I'm gonna provide the code down below. I'm gonna provide the links to it. And see you soon. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe. There are gonna be more SwiftUI tutorials. Thank you guys.